Hey there everybody, what is going on? My name is Aditya and welcome back to another brand new video regarding semantic UI theming process. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at what kind of environment we do need in order to go ahead and install, uh, you know, use semantic UI theming process. Uh, that whatever. So you, all you have to go ahead and do is go to nodejs.org and simply go down under the downloads for Windows uh, or you know it depends on your system uh, you can go ahead and uh, download that and install that uh, the thing is I have already downloaded it I'm sorry for that little gap over there uh, I have already downloaded it so all I have to do is simply just click on it I recommend using LTS version because uh, that is one of the most standard version that you are going to be getting uh, in order to reduce a lot of errors that are going to be present inside of the new Node.js. So make sure you have added it to path. Uh, well, the installation process might be different for others and wait for it to be installed. Once the install installation is completed, you will be seeing this kind of setup screen. You, are, you have to click on finish and now let's just go ahead and search for something else. Gulp. Now Gulp is actually a build system, you can consider it like that. Uh, when you search for Gulp on Google, you can go ahead and find out very first link going to the Gulp. So basically all you have to do in order to go ahead and do uh, whatever you are doing is npm install gulp cli hyphen g. Now uh, on, on two different operating systems, so I'm going to be opening up my PowerShell on windows because i recommend using that uh, even though i even use hyper you know my uh, pc was uh, off for a couple of days and i lost this one recording so i'm recording it again because of which you are seeing me doing this process again which because of which i had not got node.js installed on my system which i thought i would install uh, in the, in a video uh, obviously I have to install hyper again and you know basically uh, all you have to do is uh, go ahead hit enter on the stuff and wait for it to go ahead and install uh, on Windows there is one new thing called as bash on Windows which uh, basically did not install on my system for some weird reason but I really recommend using Windows uh, machine with uh, bash installed on it because it will be making your life a lot more easier but anyways um on linux and on mac you'll be getting certain error that uh, you know administrative privileges have not been accepted or allowed on this account or something like that all you have to do in order to remove those kind of errors is hit sudo in front of the command that means all you have to do is hint their sudo npm install hyphen g oops gulp hyphen cli and that's all you have to do in order to go ahead and install gulp on your system but anyways this is going to be it for this video well let's just go ahead and see whether gulp has been installed uh, globally or not so i'm going to be hitting gulp hyphen v and you can see it's cli version that is command line interface version is 1.2.2 Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you love this video, just go ahead and slap that like button. New videos are coming soon. Uh, I have I've got all of them edited and uploaded. Just they are private mode. So, I guess I can show that to you. Uh, all of those videos are right over here in my dashboard, I can say. Uh, you can see th second, third, fourth. And this video I had uploaded quite a bit ago. So... This is going to be it for this video. If you love this video, just go ahead and slap that like button and peace out.